Hello and welcome back. Today we're looking at the top 20 best PvE base locations on the Aberration map. I have three questions I like to ask myself when looking for the perfect base location. How close is it to water? How close is it to rare resources? And how good is the location for building on? And I like to think these top 20 have lived up to those expectations. They are roughly in order, from least favourite to most favourite. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. First base location is 38.6 latitude, 44.4 longitude. Location on the map, direct centre of the middle, that's always a good thing when you're in the middle of all the action. Up on this high cliff, inside this tree, it's not flat or anything. There's some really cool rocks in there you can build on. If you are a good builder, you could definitely make something work and make it look really nice in here. And of course outside you've got your charge node, gas vein, and there's another charge node right outside the front. Water's right below. It is a bit of a mission, but once you get your pipe down there, you're sorted. Getting down to the ground, you'll have to do it via zip lines. It is a bit of a mission for that also. But you are quite close to the bioluminescent region for those rare resources. That's where all the metal spawns. We'll showcase it a bit more later in the video. There are some better locations for getting there. But if you do make your way down to the river below, you'll find you got all the good creatures spawned down here, you got Karkinos, Spinos, all that good stuff. you got all these river rocks here. Hit those with an Anki and you'll rack up a lot of metal very quickly. But this is why it is the first entry. It's a nice location, but the resources are a bit scarce around here. The next base location is right below the previous base location. 39.0 latitude, 47.7 longitude. Here's our location on the map, same location pretty much. The previous location is located right up there on that cliff so it's much higher than this location as you can see but that is why this location is for me slightly better maybe not as cool as the first location but it is way close to the water way close to the bioluminescent region and all that metal and resources and of course just closer to everything that's uh, accessible to you really and uh, it's close to the ground so you won't have to Use as many zip lines to get down and you can get your ravagers and stuff down there to carry your resources back up to you and all that stuff. Plenty of room to build up here. Not the flattest area, but it is reasonably flat. For the most part, you got your gas vein right there and you got your charge node also. Next base location is located 26.1 latitude, 48.5 longitude. Here's our location on the map. Very central to the green zone. It is a great area to build. This is a builder's paradise because it's completely flat. It's actually probably the biggest flat spot on Aberration. So There's probably about 25 foundations by about maybe 40. It's a very large area. Put your water source right below. So that is key, of course. Got a couple of metal nodes on the cliff below. That's our base up there. So they're very close by. You've got all the river rocks as well. So if swimming around here with an Anki would always get you a decent amount of metal. And you've got trilobites for the little little bits of pearls, oil, chitin and black pearls. Keep following the river down a short while and you will get to your bioluminescent region. So it's all quite close by. Of course it is quite far from the red zone. But it's more of a starter and mid game base location really. And it does have a land entrance, very close to the ground, so you can just walk down here, it's great. Back up to the base if you look towards the east. Underneath the archway in the distance, that will take you to the closest surface entrance in that area. We'll touch up a bit more on that later in the video. Next base location is 16.9 latitude, 33.8 longitude. Here's our location on the map, we're in the fertile lake here. So, you've got your lake right below, for your water access. There's pearls and carcanos around this area, so you've got your organic polymer and kite in there as well. The area itself, it's quite a cool spot. You can incorporate this metal structure into your build, and you can use cliff platforms around it or just build around it. It's pretty cool. And if you head in the south direction from this spot here, all the way to the other side of the lake, you'll find your green gems and crystals. Go back to the base spot. Head in the opposite direction towards the top left corner of the map. Go out from here, follow this metal structure going down and just hug the wall all the way to the corner here. 
and you'll find this entrance here. This is the surface entrance. There is actually quite a nice amount of metal here that is at the entrance without you having to go outside. And you can farm this happily with your Anki and get a decent amount of metal from these. And even when it does get bright, you should be able to mine all this safely. You only start burning once you walk outside. But yeah, to go outside, there's more rare resources and surface drops. You do want to go there at night time, otherwise you will just roast alive and die instantly. These rocks, however, there's loads around here and you could get a really good amount of metal and it's really close to your base. And this makes this location so good. Next base location is 14.7 latitude, 41.5 longitude. Here's our location on the map, right at the top. Right next to the previous base location. It's a really cool area. It's very flat, as you can see by this box, which isn't straight at all, but it still shows off that it's flat, so that's the main thing, isn't it? You can build cliff platforms on the end and do what you want with it. There's loads of room, loads of room for your creatures, loads of room to build. You've got water right below, you've pretty much got the same resources as the last location. It is a little further away from the surface entrance, but still, it is close proximity. Next base location is 24.9 latitude, 52.5 longitude. Here's our location on the map. You can build quite a decent sized base here. It is flat in most areas and it's quite a large area. Got a charge node right next to your base. With a nice few crystal spawns nearby. You've got the river below for your water source. Trilobites will spawn around here. There's beehives. River rocks for your basic metal needs. A bit further up you'll have Carcanos and Spino spawning. And we've been here before. There's this ledge right here that's right next to it and it has a couple of metal nodes on top. Also back at the base location, looking to the east, that is the archway from earlier. Also a little bit closer this time, which will lead you to the surface entrance where you can find more metal and other rare resources. Next base location is going to be 19.4 latitude, 48.9 longitude. Here's our location on the map. Right at the Fertile Lake here. Yeah, this is a really nice location. I actually built here on one playthrough. It did me proud. It's a very big flat spot. It's so nice to build here. You've got your lake right next to your base. Obviously, Carcanos for organic polymer and silica pearls below in the bottom. There's loads of green gems and crystal spawns nearby. There's also this stream right next to it as well. There's so many river rocks here that you could get so much with an Anki and uh, it'll give you a decent amount of metal to be fair and obviously if you're making gunpowder this is great for a flint farm as well. It is very close to the previous base location so all those resources are at the bottom of this stream which also means it's very close to that surface entrance. Next location is 37.4 latitude, 56.6 longitude is our location on the map. We're on the edge of the bioluminescent region but not quite in it and we're right next to the green zone here so it's a really nice place to build actually. You've got a charge node, you've got a gas vein right next to your base. Blue gems and crystals scattered throughout near your base, so you've got that right in front of you. And if we go straight down, just, just below the cliff, of course you can uh, make a zip line up from here and make your way down to this area quickly, or you can just follow the path down, it's not really that far at all. But of course you've got metal resources coming out of your ears right below your base. Look at this, all these rocks are metal, it's beautiful. There's so much metal around here. The only downside to this space is it's not too close to water. You can see the water down there, so it is kind of close. So I guess if you piped all the way through here down to the water, it's not that bad, really. And of course, at the water, you've got your organic polymer and silica pearls spawning throughout. It's quite flat on top, but there is obviously these... Uh, branches and stuff that you can build cliff platforms on which is really cool I love when you can do this next base location 44.6 latitude 60.4 longitude location on the map in the heart of the bioluminescent region I really like this area because this is the best place for resources also nameless but uh, that's why these kind of bases are like mid to end game we do have a charge node in the base that will deter some nameless and you can charge all your batteries and stuff you can build cliff platforms on the side it's not the flattest area, but you could definitely build something really cool around here. You can see it's, of course, going to be hostile as anything here. There's some really nice bridges, and of course, you've got your water source right below. We your silica pearls and organic polymer, carcanos, all that stuff. And of course, we're in the bioluminescent region here. There's metal everywhere. All these rocks will give us some tasty metal. Every single one. 
It's a very nice base location. You just gotta make sure you keep the nameless under control. So it is probably a pain at first to get involved with it. But this location is great in the long run for resources and location. Next base location is located at 42.7 latitude, 24.4 longitude. Here's our location on the map, on the left. As you can see, very flat location. It's a really nice area to build. You've got plenty of room to do anything you want. It's uh, pretty friendly for the most part. As you can see, there is a basilisk there, but that's our ratio for you, really. There is land access. It is a long route, but it will bring you down to the land, so you got that. And if you turn around, you've got your water access. A little bit far down, but you can definitely build a hefty pipe down to it. And if you go down into the water, you can see there's some gold metal rocks there. Little beehive, more gold metal rocks there, and more gold metal rocks there with a bit of crystal. So it's got some decent rare resources. There is carcanos and silica pearls in these uh, waters. Also, looking towards the southwest, there is a surface entrance right here on the selected mark. But we'll showcase that in the next base location, which is going to be this one here. As you can see, very close to that one. And this is it. Located at 48.0 latitude, 27.5 longitude. Here's our location on the map. Just in this tree here, look how cool this is. It's very flat, as you can see. Look at that. And then there's a, there's a gap through here which you can actually build in. It's another flat area. You've got green gems and crystals. You could make a ramp down to there and reach the land all the way around there. It's quite a long way, of course, but uh, you can do it. More crystal there. And obviously you can build out from here. You've got a gas vein there also and there's so much room to play with. Water source is right below. Once again, a bit high, but it's still there and it can be done. And of course, it's the same lake as the uh, previous location, so you've got all those rare resources nearby too. And if looking towards the southwest from this direction, you wanna head straight down for your base and this will take you straight to the nearest surface entrance. Unfortunately, there's no metal rocks in the area before you burn alive, so that's a bit of a downside to this entrance, but of course, at night you can come out here and these rocks, they're all metal rocks, so it's not too difficult to find me metal from here. Next base location is 35.6 latitude, 46.5 longitude. Here's our location on the map. Center of the green zone. Great spot, very flat. You can see with this big box here I made, Lit it up like a Christmas tree just to showcase it in all its glory. I never place cables like that normally, but you know, it's got to be done. You've got your charge node, you've also got your other charge nodes right here by the water. Which is great, because you got water. So you've got Karkonos down there that just died to a die bear. Easy chitin and polymer around here. You've got all these river rocks around here as well. So. If you just tame up an Anki, they are great swimmers. They could swim through the shallow water and farm a load of these rocks really quickly. And you'll probably rack up a lot of metal, actually. In terms of position, it's very close to pretty much everything on the map. So right in the center, heading towards southeast, follow the river up, all the way up. By luminescent region, there's metal everywhere in this place. The base itself is quite a cool location. I think if you're a good builder, you'll probably enjoy this and you might be able to make something cool up here as well. Next base location is 45.3 latitude, 34.9 longitude. Here's our location on the map. We're on the edge of the green zone, right next to the bioluminescent region. Always going to be a great spot. We've got a charge node below us. You've got the gas vein below us. This area is huge. You could build a really big base in here and there's like loads of cool rocks that you can build on also. There's also this tree, if you extend it this far. You've got a nice supply of green gems and crystals up here. In here, it's pretty flat. You could probably house your creeks in here, maybe make a nice breeding area. As you can see, you can put cliff platforms on top of these metal structures. Of course, right below, you've got your water source in this tree. So you don't have to go too far for water. Right below, you've got two gold metal rocks also and a beehive. So they also do spawn around here. And looking above the base towards the east from here, looking right at this big metal ring, you can just go straight down from here with a rock drake, glide all the way down, and it takes you directly into their nesting grounds for your fertilized eggs. Look, there's one right there, lovely. Next base location, 30.3 latitude, 60.5 longitude. Location on the map. In the green zone, you've got plenty of room to build on here. You can build on cliff platforms. It's quite flat as well. For the most part, you've got a charge node there. 
And you got a gas vein there. With loads of crystal spawns around, so you got crystal, green gems, all the good stuff. River's right next to your base, so you got water access right in front of you. There's more gas veins down here also, loads of river rocks for basic metal, flint, and a bit of stone. This base is a great place to thrive and survive in. If you head towards the north from here, this is the surface entrance here, so you can go through here. Before you cook alive, you can actually farm all these uh, rocks here. Which all these rocks are metal, so you can farm all these and you can come away with so much metal. And if we set the time to night, we can go up here. This is the only time you can come up to the surface when it's night time. I believe it's any time from 6pm until 6am, which I think gives you around 20 or so minutes to have a great time up here. Loads of oil rocks, loads of metal rocks, element ore, surface drops. They will spawn up here and these are very good ways to find loot. As you can see a nice climbing pick for you there. It is very hostile up here, reapers spawn everywhere. Honestly you can see how much crystal, oil, obsidian, metal, oh it's all up here. So yeah, you have to deal with stuff like that. And another thing to mention about this base location is if you follow the stream all the way to the waterfall here, this gives you easy access to the bioluminescent region. So the only downside is the red zone is a little further away than some other base locations, but this is a great starter base location, and it could probably last you until the end game. It ticks all the boxes for a great base location. Next base location is 41.7 latitude, 29.3 longitude. Here's our location on the map. If you just zoom out from here, you can see this is a super cool area, but honestly, I picked this location because I think someone could really make such a cool base on this big rock here. Of course, it isn't flat, but that's why builders are builders. They're very talented, and they can make stuff work like this, whereas I could never do that. But anyway, just whack some cliff platforms on there because you could still do that if you want to. But yeah, you got your water source, you got your creatures that spawn around here like Karkonos, Spinos. Sarkos, anything cool to tame, there's ravages down there too. This is the exact same lake from the other previous base locations in the video. So you've got all those resources nearby, and close to the surface entrance also. And this is why it makes it so high up on the list. Next base location is 45.0 latitude, 68.4 longitude. Location on the map, heart of the bioluminescent region. This is an end game area, it's very hostile, nameless will spawn around here so you have to keep that under control you have got a charge node so that's going to help deter them a little bit there itself is really cool and it's quite flat for the most part as you can see so you can build a really cool base here you've got metal everywhere of course because you're in the bioluminescent region the only downside is there's not much wood but there is a path that leads down so that'll lead you to the trees and stuff so and if you just turn around you can see water is very close by you can just pipe down to there and there you got your water source you got all your standard uh, creatures that spawn the water. The next base location is going to be 52.7 latitude, 38.8 longitude. Location on the map. Right next to the green zone here and just in the bioluminescent region. This is a great area to build if you can defend it because it's quite hostile. Nameless will definitely spawn up here. It's a great area to build. Of course, you can build these tree platforms. These are built with the no clip turned off, so, so technically you should be able to do these builds on official servers. Of course, we're in the bioluminescent region once again. This is a great area for metal, it's everywhere. But anyway, you've got access to water right below. You've got natural like vines that you can use with the ravagers to get over and down from this area. Underneath your base, you've got your crystals and your blue gems right there. So those are right underneath your doorstep. And if we head towards southeast slash east, you have a nice charge node and right below this is the red zone if you just literally follow this big structure down if you've got a rock drake glide all the way to the bottom and that takes you straight to this rock drake egg nest location so it's a it's a really good spot it's really in the middle of where everything's happening on the map to be honest coming in at number three is 42.1 latitude 51.3 longitude is our location on the map right in the direct center it's next to the water we love the water on this map and it is a really nice base location of course you got your charge node next to it you got your gas vein there as well 
If you're a good builder, you could definitely build something really pretty around here. Karkonos spawning around here, good creatures, Stego, Spino, you name it, all the good creatures around here. Which does make it slightly dangerous, of course, but, you know, all the dangerous spots are always the better spots in the end game, really. But this spot is great because it's obviously you've got your bioluminescent region below. And straight down from here, look, you can see all these metal nodes are right here. It's very close to the red zone. There is a land path going down to the bioluminescent region just here. So everything is really accessible from this location. If we just go towards the southwest direction, go towards this metal ring here. Once again, this is the same entrance down to the red zone. Glide all the way down with your rock drake or wingsuit, whatever you're doing. And straight in there to the rock drake nests. Next base location and just missing out on my favourite location is going to be 35.8 latitude, 64.8 longitude. Location on the map. Right on the edge of the bioluminescent region, you could say you're right at the top. Right next to the green zone, you can see there's the waterfall there coming out of the green zone. So your water access is very close, you will have to make a bit of an awkward pipe to get there but once you do you'll be uh, golden. Of course building up here it's very flat, there's a lot of room to build and a lot of room for your creatures. I also haven't noticed that nameless spawn up here which is quite rare to find in this uh, blue zone because they pretty much spawn throughout but uh, honestly I haven't seen any. It's a really nice spot. You've got metal nodes for days spawning up here. Like all these rocks are pretty much metal, all these glowy blue rocks here. You've got obsidian next to it. Probably will end up blocking these spawns for the obsidian to be honest but I don't think you'd be able to block all these metal spawns because unless you build over the whole area but yeah it's scattered with metal it's everywhere in this region. Oh there's a bit more obsidian there you could probably save that on your base actually. The access to the water below that's where all your carcanos, pearls and all that stuff spawn in the water so you've got organic polymer and all that stuff. Although this area is high up you can reach other areas by walking along these uh, branches. I just love this spot, I think it's great. You can make a really good base up here. Here we are, number one on the list, and my favourite base location on Aberration. 55.0 latitude, 63.4 longitude. Location on the map. This one is in the crystalline swamps. So just off from the bioluminescent region, just out of radiation radius, should we say. And uh, yeah, this is it. It's a great area, but it's very dangerous. Nameless will spawn down here and hostile creatures. Once you wall it off, get a base down. You got your charge node down there. You got a carcanos right in your base. Love that. But yeah, it's quite a flat area. And these are cliff platforms that you can attach to this small cliff here, which is a really nice, uh, it's like a mini Lion King rock, isn't it? But it's really nice. You can attach those together and build on top of those. And of course, this area is scattered with resources. You've got metal everywhere. So you won't have to travel too far for your rare resources. Which is what we crave in this game. It is a little far from the red zone, so you will have to travel a little bit to uh, get to your rot drake nests. Well, I mean, it's not that bad really, but there's no decent, like glide in height to get there quickly if you're building here this is end game stuff like you don't want to build here at the start of the game you're going to get destroyed but uh, this base is amazing and that is also going to be the end of the video hope you all enjoyed it hope it's helped you all if you did find it useful please do consider liking commenting and subscribing it really helps me out and i really appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next one which will probably be my next 100 days video i'll catch you all there take care goodbye see ya